Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, go ahead and if you like this, you can subscribe for more content and you can give it a like so this can reach more teachers. So this is my first time in summer school and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so day one is finished. This morning it was a little bit chaotic because number one, right away I forgot my lunch. I was gonna do some prep last night, Sunday night, but I didn't, um, go figure. So I had to do some of that this morning on top of trying to figure other things out, trying to talk to some teachers. I didn't know when recess was supposed to be because the other fifth grade teacher signed up. Like it was just a chaotic morning. And then we didn't know where to meet the kids for the buses. We were supposed to go outside with some signs and meet up with them. And yeah, it was just crazy. Luckily, I got all my kids and everything was fine. I also couldn't log into the teacher portal where you do attendance and get lunch numbers and bus numbers and everything like that. So that has been a really big struggle because those are important things that you need to be able to do especially for the first day having lunch numbers and bus numbers is so important. Luckily I have fifth grade because if I had a different grade, this would be really frustrating. <laughs> but no, it's been, it was pretty good. Um, I got everything done. So let me show you guys what I did today. By the way, I was really nervous about summer school. I didn't really know what to expect, but honestly, it's just like normal, like the normal classroom, except for you um, just have a lot less students and obviously for this it's only three weeks so it's a lot less time that you get to work with the students uh, you don't have to do any testing which is nice you don't really have that much interaction with parents and um, the downside is that I don't really know where the students are at academically they don't give me any prior information for that other than I know a little bit about IEPs so other than that, yeah. <laughs> so let me show you guys kind of what I did today though. So this is my plan, which I did do a little bit of planning before I got here while I was getting materials ready and stuff like that. So I did have some of this stuff ready, which is great. So we went over rules and expectations. And because they are fifth graders, I just had them tell me what is expected of them when they're walking in the halls, when they're going to the bathroom, when we're going to lunch and breakfast, and when we are in the classroom. We talked a lot about like, they wanted to say like, don't talk or like um, only talk when you're allowed. And I kind of didn't like that. So we kind of tried to say like, limit your talking time, don't interrupt, raise your hand to share, things like that. Then I did an activity that I just said, pick a side of the room based on the question so they could either choose to be by the window or by the door and i just asked some fun questions like um i own a pet i don't own a pet and they'd have to choose a side um they're by they come from two different schools so i had them choose one side if they go or they're if they're going to the one school or the other side if they're going to the other school and then other questions that will help me academically, like I like reading, I don't like reading, I like math, or I feel like I am good at math, I feel like I do not do well in math. So different questions like that to get to know them both personally and academically. And then we just went around and did names and talked about who they are and what they are doing and things like that. We are also doing the lesson plans from this fifth grade science unit for Minnesota biomes. So I just did the first lesson, which was taking the kids outside. So before we went outside, we talked about expectations for going outside. And then we talked about what journaling looks like, what are observations, um, how should we take notes. So we talked about putting the date and our names. And then this was the title, Nature Walk. And then I focused on three senses, kind of four, but that one's kind of so-so. So that I, it was just, I see, I hear, I smell. And then the, I feel wasn't actually like going and touching things, but it was things like, I feel the wind on my skin. So both externally, what do you feel? And internally, 
And then I had them write down two questions that they wonder. So we talked a little bit about this and we went over that. That took us quite a while and that was just fine. We also had to do a quick write to see what the students learned. So when we got inside from this, we talked a little bit about what we observed and then we went into our quick write. So that was good. And I took some time to talk about invasive species and things like that as well. Something quick that was really fun is I found this book at Michael's, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Cause they're going into fifth grade. So I thought that would be super fun. And it just has some little quizzes, which I thought would be fun to print out at some point maybe, and just have them fill it out if we have some extra time or answer the questions. And then it just has the answers in the back. So we went over quiz one and quiz two. Then at the start of math, we talked a little bit about growth mindset and I wrote down some important words that the kids had mentioned. And then they provided these, the option to visit these videos from Class Dojo and they're just on growth mindset. You don't have to be signed in or anything and it gives you a video and some questions to discuss kind of what happened. So we started with your brain is like a muscle. So that's this one. And so the start of the activity, you watch a video and it kind of goes through some information and then it asks some questions and then um, share with your parents. So that was really fun. And they obviously also have, whoops, some other ones as well that you can watch. So those are really fun and a great way to talk about growth mindset. Afterwards, I just introduced a few different games oops, that you can see here by the window. The school provides these different math games. So I just got seven out and introduced them to the students so that they could play them during our math workplaces. So yeah, that was about it for the day. It went by super fast. Um, we have to go out with the kids for recess. We eat the eat lunch with the kids and our break during the day is during PE that they have for 50 minutes. It flew by today, so I'm hoping tomorrow will be a little more relaxed, I hope. <laughs> but you can see tomorrow for a morning meeting. Morning meeting is about an hour, so we're going to do a wave talk about a question which I already have. So this is what the slide will look like and then the question is what is your favorite thing about fourth grade? What was your favorite thing about fourth grade? And then we will play a game then we'll go into lesson two which I just printed out the activity. So this will be a getting to know you thing that we will do as well probably during that morning meeting time and then the kids will get this sheet and they're just going to cut it out. I know this isn't relevant to every um, state and school and stuff but this is what we focus on so they're just going to cut them out and talk and um, write about or draw about what they might think that the or what they think that these different um, words and areas are and kind of what's in them, animals and plants and stuff. So yeah, I'll kind of go more into what we're doing tomorrow when we get there. Otherwise, yeah, it's been quite the day. Okay, so that will be all for today. I did give all the kids a lay and um, yeah, I think that's about it. So... Yeah, it's been it, it's been pretty good. Um, I wish there wasn't like the chaotic piece, but I mean, that's kind of what teaching is. A lot of today was very think on my feet and try to get things done. So I'm glad that I kind of have tomorrow planned out and ready to go. That will make things so much easier. Um, otherwise, yeah, I was supposed to leave 30 minutes ago because we get done at 2.30 and it is now 3.08. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to have some time in the morning, but it was just so chaotic with not having my lunch and having to do all this stuff this morning. It was crazy. Um, so hopefully I'll have some time during like the morning time or my prep time, but who knows? It's kind of a plan as you go type of job. So we'll have to see if I'm making copies or doing other important things. So. 
Wish me luck, guys, and I will catch you tomorrow. Bye. So the kids are at PE right now. They're coming back in one minute. It's been a great day so far, and I can't wait to tell you guys more. I have bus duty tonight, which means I ride the bus home with some of the kids. So I'll be doing that, but I'll talk to you guys after. Okay, so I just got back from riding the bus home with a group of the students. I guess for the first two days, they just do that so kids can get to the right place and on the right bus and all of that stuff. And it was actually pretty fun. I wish I knew what to expect, but um, honestly, it was pretty fun and I kind of enjoyed it. It was great to get to watch the kids go home and talk to the bus driver and all that stuff. So I'm really glad I did it. Otherwise, the days have been going good and they've been going really fast, which is honestly just fine but it's like sad at the same time but I have did have two students who were having a couple issues today um, I did have to remind some of the boys to kind of knock it off one girl is choosing to read which she does have an IEP but um, I don't know um, yeah so she was reading instead of doing what we were supposed to do so I kind of um, kind of told her that that wasn't okay and uh, I would try to give her times but she would only be able to read during those times that I allowed her. And then one student, I guess, it wasn't in the classroom and she, she didn't really have any problems in the classroom but I guess at PE she was in the fetal position the entire time and the PE teacher came and told me. so. Um, just a couple of little things like that a couple of boys who I don't know if they were just like if they just are well I know one has an IEP and then I guess the other one has ADHD so I'll really have to be focused on those students and really making sure that they're getting their stuff done and all of that stuff so it's been quite the adventure today so for reading again I know this is very specific to Minnesota but they had to cut out the different parts and we talked about biomes and ecosystems and all of that stuff so we specifically talked about the biomes of Minnesota carnivorous forest deciduous forest and prairie grassland the students were then told to cut them out tape them onto a page and this student had a little bit of a dilemma with her backpack so she obviously didn't get any writing done but then they were supposed to write down on the pieces of paper some of the things that they thought they knew about each of those areas. So prairie grassland, carnivorous forest, and deciduous forest. They take forever to cut things out. And then I made this RAND chart while the students were still working. So a RAND chart just is kind of like a KWL chart except for there's um, two more categories, I guess. So there's what I think I know, or you know, what I know, K, okay. and then confirmed. So what I want to know, which is wonderings over here. And then the, the one of the new things is, so we have confirmed, which is what I learned, slash new learning. And then we also have misconceptions. So, of course, we watched a video before and one of my students explained what one of the facts were. So a lot of the students decided to write those down, which doesn't really help <laughs> in, you know, talking about the biomes. But I think we'll try to add more to that and then we'll just move post-its over to the other categories as that kind of happens. And then we'll also answer our wonderings as well. And then again for math, we just did a bunch of math games like we did before. I just have them on a rotation and they're doing one game per day. I also mentioned this website in a prior video, but it's called Which One Doesn't Belong? And we just did a couple of example ones and just talked about using evidence to explain our reasoning and all of that stuff. So it's been really helpful in just getting them to really start thinking about how to explain things and not just saying, well, it's this and that's just because I know. So I always like to start with fun ones. I just did this one with dogs and then we did do one with shapes and then I did one with canoes and it was kind of cool because one of the students pointed out like 
this isn't a canoe, this is a kayak. And these ones all have mountains in the back, but this one doesn't. This has three people, you know, they're using oars here instead of a paddle, there's no people. So it really creates good evidence for explaining things and just really diving deeper into the evidence of what you're doing. So they also have a thing here called number corner that they really focus on for these students in the school district. So they have a pre-made notebook of number corner for summer school here. So this is one of the examples. So you can see it says week one, day two, and we're just going over this array model and I can reveal the numbers. We're talking about different strategies and solving things and all of that stuff. So it's been really, really fun just kind of going over that and talking about how we got the answer and all that stuff. So it's been really fun. And honestly, we just go through one or two questions, but we're really, really diving into why that is or what we're doing to really explain to others. And I really like to put it as, you know, how would you explain that to someone who might not understand? So the kids really get an idea of, you know, there might be students in this class who don't understand it. Even though I find it easy and I know the answer right away, I need to explain it in a way so that those other kids who don't understand can get a grasp on what we're doing. I've also already done some prep work for Wednesday and Thursday so that I can be ready for those. So I'm just using these folders. I have a get to know you activity that I might use if we have extra time. Otherwise, we're talking about prairie grasslands and what that looks like. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because I've been here longer than I needed to for the past two days now, well, including today and then yesterday. So I'm gonna go home and eat a snack and enjoy my night. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey everyone, it is Wednesday, over halfway through the week already, which is crazy. And I got here a little bit early. So I've gotten to do a couple of things so far this morning. I'm really trying to stay ahead of the game. So I will be prepping for tomorrow and then as well as next week. So I think I'm gonna go pull some more math games for next week. I think I only need six because we have a field trip next week, which we need field trip permission forms and we don't have any yet and it's less than a week away. So it's kind of freaky, but I'm probably gonna go pull some math games and I'm going to prep my morning message and do some things like that to really get ready for next week. So, all right, hi guys. I am back, it's the end of the day and it was, it was a good day, but I definitely needed to give some reminders. I have exactly what the kids should be doing during our math workstations and some of them chose to not follow the directions so that was a little bit frustrating but otherwise it was a pretty good day. You can see I'm really trying to prep. I already have next Tuesday's um, morning message written out. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'll probably have to make a new to-do list because mine's getting a little bit crazy. But you can see I have kind of my daily tasks and I have them by which day I need to get them done. And I also have to go make some copies. We don't have anybody who makes copies for us anymore. So we have to do that ourselves, um, but that's not too bad. Can't complain. All right. I'm gonna end there. It's been a little bit tiring. <laughs> I'm really trying to prep. So yeah, I really am kind of tired. So I have a few minutes. I'm just gonna pack up and go for the day and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, it is Friday for us, but it's actually Thursday and this day is flying by. We only have math left and it has been pretty quick. <laughs> There's really not much to report. Math has been the same. We were still talking about multiplication and addition. 
um, two digit multiplication. Tomorrow or next week we're doing fractions so everything's geared towards fractions and then the last week it is decimals so yeah nothing too crazy for that we're still talking about growth mindset and it's been fun to hear some of the kids use some of that terminology um and then we're just going trucking along with our science unit for readers and writers workshop we're talking about biomes and today we talked about the deciduous forest which is about right where we live here in minnesota we have a deciduous or we are part of that deciduous forest biome so we went outside and looked at leaves and nature and it was really nice to just journal about it um and then next week we are going on a field trip so i'm excited for that otherwise yeah, there's nothing too much else. Some people were asking me in the comments about how the job search is going. There is no update or changes for that. I would honestly let you guys know because I'd be super excited. But I had those two interviews and I was called for a third interview or like an additional interview in a different school district. But I was unable to attend because the only opening they had was during my summer school hours. So I've just been applying. I found there are about 26 and maybe more school districts around um, a 50 minute radius from my house. So I've definitely been looking to apply at those places. I've applied to about maybe five or six different school districts in addition to the two that I sub substituted in this last school year so I'm trying but not successful yet here's hoping and you know the hard part is with 26 school districts it it is hard to to know what could work out so I'm still applying in hopes that I might get something but who knows I mean if I have to sub again it's not a big deal to me but it would be ideal I've loved having my own classroom and the kids know I'm their teacher and it's just really enjoyable and I really like it so yeah um, otherwise I am going to a conference next week it's called Ed Flipgrid or something like that I'll have to let you guys know more about it next week but I'm super excited and I can't wait to share more about that with you guys so nothing else really to report on this week I'm going to let you guys go because I'm ready to go home. I'm sure like the kids are, even though it's a shortened week. I don't know, just summer break and I just want to enjoy it. So I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.